to today we're gonna make a super easy fried chicken recipe you're gonna love it come on down let's start we're gonna add about two pounds of chicken parts we're gonna add two cups of buttermilk salt pepper get your handy dandy gloves so you can get your hands in the bowl so we're just gonna mix that make sure all of the salt and the pepper is coated in the chicken and the buttermilk and then we're gonna place this again in the fridge for about two hours or overnight look who's trying to get into the action louie louie you wanna make biscuits <coughs> we're gonna make some biscuits you wanna make some all right <coughs> Okay, Louie, let's go. Okay, now we're gonna make our pull apart biscuits. So we're gonna get two cups of flour. We're gonna add a quarter cup of butter, three quarters a cup of buttermilk. We're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna add a tablespoon of baking powder. So once we add all of that together, something was wrong with our mixer, but it's okay. We're just gonna mix it by hand. You're just gonna make sure you got the butter and the buttermilk all incorporated into our flour. So we're gonna just mix that and get in there. Make sure that butter is incorporated. So what we're going to do is we're going to flour our surface. We're going to gently flour our surface. Take our biscuit dough, boom ball. Then we're going to roll this out. Make sure we keep it nice. Okay, so we're going to take a 9 inch by 9 inch butter pan. We're going to just make sure we kind of roll this, try to roll this out into like a square shape that can fit into our pan. Try your best. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it tastes good. Okay, so as you can see, it's kind of, kind of got the size right. So we're just going to gently push, 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 push dough around so we're gonna brush with our egg wash we want to get nice and golden then what we're gonna do is we're gonna score our dough because once it bakes to easily pull it apart well try your best to make it equal pieces there you go now it's all scored so we're gonna put this in the oven for about 220 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna place it in the oven for about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. So now we're gonna make some mashed potatoes. We're gonna take our potatoes. All right. We're gonna peel our potatoes. <laughs> I was trying to get this string. I ended up throwing my peeler. Anyway. We're gonna peel our potatoes. Usually, this is the first thing that I do when I make like a fried chicken dinner, but it's okay, it's our third recipe. I don't like to like not make enough mashed potatoes, so I might make over the amount. It's okay if you have leftovers, you can always use it for something else. You can make like those potato donuts, you could use the mashed potatoes, just rehydrate it and use it in a pot pie of some sort, or you could just, you know, rehydrate, reheat, and eat it. Or you can make like some sort of duchess potatoes, I use that as well. So yeah, you can never go wrong with mashed potatoes. This is taking forever, so with the magic of film, Pro tip, always have a bowl on your kitchen surface so you can collect all of your waste in one place. Keeps your surface area clean as well. Okay, now we're just gonna chop up our potatoes. So we're just gonna chop it up into like big chunks because we're gonna boil this in some water and salt. You know, just roughly chop it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now that it's all chopped up, we're gonna put it in a pot. We're gonna take a pot, we're gonna put it in a pot, we're gonna take our potatoes, and we're gonna take our potatoes and put it in a pot. 
Okay, now we're gonna put some water and we're gonna boil this until our potatoes are done. Once our potato is done and it's still hot, we're gonna take our ricer. We're gonna take the potato. We're gonna pass it through our ricer so that we get nice soft mashed potatoes. Look at that. Isn't that satisfying? Don't overfill it like I did just now. You can also just mash it with like a fork. But you wanna do this while it's hot because it's much easier. Like while it's still hot, it feels like you're not putting really any pressure. Once it's done, we're just gonna add some salt, black pepper, and some milk. You wanna do this while it's still hot. Still nice and hot. We're gonna add a little bit more milk. You can add some cheese, butter, if you like. I'm gonna toss a knob of butter in this. Toss a knob of butter. So yeah, while it's still hot, mix it really nice and soft mashed potatoes. As you can see, it's really getting, absorbing that butter and milk. So now we're gonna do our coleslaw. So we're gonna take our cabbage, I'm gonna remove that floor. So we're gonna use about a half. We're just gonna chop it up into like little julienne slices. Don't be afraid to get messy. It's okay. The important part is the end results. <laughs> we're gonna take our cabbage, put it into a bowl. Now we're gonna take about a half of the white cabbage. So we're basically gonna repeat the same process. We're gonna take half a bundle of parsley. Once our parsley is all chopped up, we're gonna add that as well into our cabbage. We're gonna take carrot and we're gonna grate the carrot. Okay, now we're gonna make our dressing for our coleslaw. So we're gonna get half a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon of lemon, lemon juice, one tablespoon of honey, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Now we're gonna mix that together till it's all combined. Once it's all combined, we're gonna to toss our veggies into the mix. Don't forget to add salt and pepper. Now let's add our cabbage. So this is a very nice, refreshing Coleslaw. It's not very heavy. We didn't add too much mayo into this recipe. So it's a nice light complement to our chicken, our fried chicken. Of course, don't forget to wear gloves when you try to mix this. It's easier to get your hands in there. So definitely wear some gloves and get on mixing. If you want, you can also add some onions for extra crunch and also some of that sweetness. Or you can add also some green onions or chives as well, would go as well in this recipe. So it's up to you, whatever you like, you can go ahead and do that. If you don't like mayo, also you could kind of substitute that mayo for Greek yogurt works. Lugna also works well, or a little sour cream and mayo. So the sour cream kind of also will feel like it's light. This is not a very heavy recipe because it's not heavy in mayo. As you can see, it's kind of lightly dressed, which is what we want. Look at that. It looks so fresh and delicious and very crunchy also. So it still retains that crunchiness because it's not heavily dressed. There you go, our coleslaw, all done. Okay, now we're gonna make our chicken. 
So we're gonna get two cups of flour, I mean three cups of flour. We're gonna add our spice mix, which is paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, uh, pepper, Italian seasoning, cayenne pepper, and then also some ginger as well. So we're gonna mix in our spice mix into our flour. We're gonna get our marinated chicken. We're gonna put it into our flour. We're gonna use our other hand and coat our chicken. We're gonna put our chicken back into the buttermilk. This will make it extra crispy. If you want it to be even more crispier, you can do a second or third coat as well. We're just gonna go with a double coat here. So we're on our second coat. So we're gonna repeat the process till we finish all of our chicken. So you get all of those little raggedy bits, these little pockets here, you want that, that makes that crunchy exterior. So yeah, really, if you want it to be even more crunchy, you can do a third coat, fourth coat, I've tried like five coats, but that's a little overkill, so. done with our chicken we're gonna fry it up okay so in a hot oil we're gonna place our chicken we're gonna fry it up till it's golden brown look at that it's all nice and golden so we're gonna remove it take it out of the oil place it on paper towel on a tray with some paper towel Okay, we're gonna place the rest of our chicken. While we're waiting for our chicken to fry, we'll take this opportunity to wash our dishes since we messed up the kitchen today. Once this chicken's all done, we're gonna remove it. Look at that, it's all golden brown, so delicious. All done. Look at our chicken. Look at that chicken. Now we're gonna coat it in our honey sauce. Now we're making gravy. So we're gonna add half a cup of butter. We're adding about half a cup of flour. We're gonna add two cups of chicken stock. We're gonna mix this all up. Make sure it's all melted, incorporated. Now we're gonna make our spicy honey sauce. That's gonna be the coating for our chicken. It's gonna make it so delicious and juicy and addictive. So we're gonna add half a cup of melted butter, quarter of a cup of honey. We're gonna add also some salt, pepper, our secret ingredient. I always have to have it in the fridge. It's a staple, gochujang. So we'll have about a tablespoon. You can add a tablespoon or two of gochujang. It depends on your spice level. It is quite spicy, but it's so delicious. It just adds like this very delicious flavor. And we're gonna add about a teaspoon as well of garlic powder. So we're gonna mix that up. And this will be our coating for our fried chicken. So we're gonna get our fried chicken. So we're gonna do some with, some without, I guess, give people more options. Look at that, this looks so good. Now that our chicken is all coated, we're gonna add some sesame seeds on top. That for extra crunch and flavor. There you go, look at our fried chicken. Looks so delicious. There you go, look at our beautiful chicken dinner. We got our biscuits, our mashed potatoes, our coleslaw, our chicken, and our dipping sauce. Let's try it. That coleslaw. Mm. So light and refreshing. Let me get some of that mashed potatoes. So our gravy is kind of like eight white gravy as you can see it's a light gravy but so delicious i added some garlic as well in the gravy and so it really elevates the mashed potatoes mm. that's what i'm talking about now let's get some of our biscuits just pull it up not bad 
Let's try our special chicken. Oh, look at that sauce. Look at the color. Look at that. Wow, that's so good. It's like tangy. It's not too spicy. Just has a little bit of a kick. And then it, there's that honey flavor. Oh my God, it's so delicious. That's so good. Yeah, lick the fingers. The sauce is so delicious. And now we're gonna take our regular fried chicken. So this is our KFC style fried chicken. Better than KFC. Forget KFC, don't go to KFC anymore. Just make this recipe. Oh yeah, look at that. You can also dip it in the sauce. That is so good. That sauce is so good. That sauce can go with chicken, burgers, anything you like. That sauce would go with it. So yeah. Try the recipe out, super easy, and it's delicious. You're gonna make this probably like every other day. And yeah, subscribe if you wanna watch more of this foolishness, more recipes, more content, more reviews. Subscribe. Until next time, toodles.